And it's our fervent hope find the actual perpetrators, whoever did this, to Lacey and baby Connor. Anytime you talk about the Lacey Peterson these days, it seems the term satanic cult becomes part of the discussion. Scott Peterson's defense team ready to claim that a cult may have killed Lacey and her unborn son as part of a ritual. It's raised many eyebrows, to say the least. But now Scott's team has one more group to deal with, the first satanic church. Yes, you heard it right. They are, quote, appalled, outraged, and furious that they've been used and abused by a national renowned lawyer in an unscrupulous and laughable attempt to blame Lacey Peterson's horrible murder on a satanic cult. Joining me now is Carla LeVay, the founder of the First Satanic Church. Her father, Anton LeVay, was known as the, quote, Black Pope, who wrote the, quote, Satanic Bible. Thank you very much uh, for coming on the program. All right, so, uh, so you're angry at Scott Peterson's defense team. Tell me why. Yes, I just think it's preposterous. There is nothing in any kind of uh, philosophy that we have that in any way comes near any kind of sacrificing of any living thing. It is absolutely out of the question. It states that in the Satanic Bible. But how do you we know? believe in living life to the fullest, and we don't live for an afterlife, and people are responsible for their own actions. But how do you know they're referring to your church? I mean, you know, they could be saying, look, we're, we're referring to these some groups out there that do things in the name of Satan and that it has nothing to do with what your church believes in. I have seen on Larry King in particular one guest who did mention my father's name. The name LeVay is basically synonymous with Satanism and I have grown up with this name. This has been my name all my life. Right. And so but apart I feel from that, that... Apart from the, the, that one reference, I mean, do you really feel like every time they mention a satanic cult they're actually referring to the beliefs of your organization? Absolutely, because people are ignorant about what we stand for. They have no idea, and the majority of people think that we're devil worshipers, and we aren't. And we aren't a cult, because a cult denotes brainwashing, and we believe in independent, rational, free thinking. But, but again, I mean, and I understand that, but I, I, why, I'm still not clear as to why you're so convinced that they, being Scott Peterson, I could see if you said Mark Garagos specifically referred to my father. I, I could see then you saying, look, my father has nothing to do with what Mark Garagos is talking about. But what makes you believe that this defense team is specifically talking about the teachings of your father and your organization? When they say satanic, as I said, Satanism is synonymous with LaVey. That's who everybody thinks of. Let me read you, um, this is from the police report. This is, this is how the defense team claims uh, that they got wind of this whole satanic issue. All right, this is uh, from an actual report that was obtained by me, a Modesto police report. Mm -hmm. Two weeks earlier, a confidential victim said she was lured into a brown van by her ex-girlfriend. While in the van, two men and two women raped the victim and a satanic ritual was conducted. The group mentioned a Christmas Day death and that she would read about it in the paper. The defense team says, look, we didn't create this. It came from the prosecution's own documents. Well, there have been in the past many people with allegations going to the press and saying things and going to the police and saying that they were survivors of satanic cults and breeders for satanic cults. But it has always been found after investigation that none of these things really happened. Is it fair to say you think Satan's gotten a bad name? Bad rap? Absolutely. That's how Christianity stays in business. <laughs> All right. Oh, my. Carla LeVay, thank you very much for thank you. coming on to the program. Thank you. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this hour. Thanks to uh, all my uh, guests tonight. Did I formally thank...